So let's show you a case example of how a radial artery access is taken. For that, it's important that how do you place the hand uh, of the patient. You place the hand, uh, the patient with a support on the back of the forearm and keep the hand hyperextended so that you fix the radial artery. You choose a point which is about one finger below the steloid process. And this is how you, some people prefer to use the hand trees, but I prefer to use the steloid process as a marker. And you go down about one and a half centimeter below it. And that is your, the point where you should assess for the radial artery pulsation. So let me run this uh, video for you. And you see here that the needle that is used for the puncture is uh, different from what we use for the femoral artery. Here, the needle has an outer sheath, which is almost a similar caliber or to the needle itself. So there is not much difference between the needle as well as the sheath over the needle for covering it. So what you do is that the purpose is that we use call this technique a transfixation technique that you puncture the anterior wall of the artery and different from what we did in the femoral artery that our target was to puncture just the anterior wall of the artery that is you just puncture here and then when there is a flow you insert the dried wire in this transfixation technique what you do is that you kind of fix the artery and this is achieved by you puncture the uh, artery with the needle and the covered sheath over it and then you go deep and you also puncture the posterior wall. So you go with this needle and the plastic sheath that is covering it and you puncture the artery and you go deep and also puncture the posterior wall. And uh, so how will you assess that uh, you have punctured the artery? When you have uh, you do the anterior puncture, there will be uh, blood uh, coming at the hub of the needle, puncture needle and uh, this gives you an idea that you have punctured the anterior wall and then you go deep you puncture the posterior wall also and this is how you fix the artery there because the caliber of the radial artery is hardly 2.5 millimeters so it's a very thin artery related to the femoral artery so this technique is quite useful but some people still use the cell dinder technique for puncture but i recommend that transfixation technique is much easier to do and the success rate is much more so you fix the artery then you what you do is that you withdraw the needle and keep the sheath in the uh, punctured in the uh, vessel uh, so let me run this video you see that the forearm has been positioned as i talked about and you feel the artery the pulsation just uh, a few uh, one and a half centimeter below the steloid process and you have to use your pulp of the fingers for the uh, tactile feeling of the pulse and you can use two or three fingers as for your uh, practice and uh, the first finger uh, or the most uh, distal finger or most proximal to the needle gives you uh, the point where you have to puncture and the other fingers guide you to the direction so you should Keep it this way that your fingers are aligned to the arterial length and uh, you align the puncture and the direction uh, towards your fingers. So uh, what I do is that I use my pulp and the nails for filling the artery. How is it useful? It is useful as if that it kind of may, gives you an outer border of the artery because you know finger, uh, fingernails are insensitive. So if you feel it that way, that means sometimes you can also have a mark there that this is the point where beyond that there is no artery and you just puncture at that very point. This is how you go about the puncture. So let me run this uh, video for you. So the artery is being palpated and I could find a spot where to puncture here and you can see the green steel needle is inside it and you go deep and I saw a flush of blood in the hub and then I went deep to transfixate the artery and then I withdrew the steel needle but I kept the plastic sheath in 
and then what we do is that we just uh, have the wire the uh, wire for insertion is a, a hydrophilic wire and you withdraw slowly withdraw the this uh, green sheath which is which has transfixed the artery slowly and you'll see that there will be a point where uh, you can see blood coming out from the hub of the sheath here yeah. so this is the point so there should be a free flow of the blood not trickle uh, which gives you a point where you have to insert the wire and uh, some uh, tips here that what i prefer to puncture the artery is more kind of a 60 70 degrees than uh, going horizontal and when uh, the reason is that when you go vertical you are less likely to have more uh, tissues i mean that uh, the depth of tissue will be less. So if you are going horizontal, your depth of tissue will be more. So you'll have to cover more of the distance to reach the artery. So by uh, going at a more uh, obtuse angle, you have less of the tissue to traverse and you can also feel the, the point where you are feeling the pulsation, you can directly puncture at that very point. But if you go at an acute angle, you may miss that direction because you have to go deeper. And when uh, the needle has been withdrawn, uh, what I do is that now I make the plastic sheet slightly horizontal. I mean, you being at a obtuse angle, I make it an acute angle. Uh, the logic is that when you're withdrawing the plastic sheath at an acute angle what will it do is that as soon as you enter the lumen it will flip into the true lumen so i have seen cases where you have a flow of the blood and a free flow of the blood but when you insert the wire in your wire doesn't go much deep i mean it goes into a branch or maybe into the subintima. So by making the sheath more horizontal, what you will do is that you will align the direction of the uh, this uh, plastic sheath more into the vessel than towards the uh, posterior wall of the artery. So this way you can avoid going into the subintima. So this is the thing here and uh, uh, now this is done. Uh, you should uh, push the wire very slowly and with soft hands it should not be hard because you can easily perforate the arteries here and when you are sure of the wire position you just insert the sheet and you have a radial artery access so this is how you go about doing a good radial artery access Prep Clinic. Dream Beyond.